Uh, hey everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Gamer Man Reviews here. Today we're back with uh, my Let's Play of Mickey Speedway USA. Now yesterday I just did Traffic Troubles, which I kind of lost. So right now I'm just... Uh, actually today I just, fit, I just completed it off screen. So as you can see there I got a Platinum Trophy. Simple win if you come in first all, all the time. You get a Platinum Trophy instead of a Golden Trophy. That's pretty cool about the uh, about the game. It's uh, it's a really good sh way to challenge yourself. You know, like, if you want like if you want to get a perfect win, when you can easily win like platinum trophies instead of gold trophies, because platinum is more worth a lot than gold is. Same thing with diamonds. Diamonds are worth more than gold too. But anyway, let's get on with let's get on with it. So today I'm going to be doing Motorway Mania, the uh, second cup to the to this game. Yeah, oh, man, this is gonna be a fun one. Okay. As usual, I'm going professional again because, again, I like to challenge myself. Oh boy, Los Angeles. One thing about me, I love LA. So I used to live in LA like about two years ago, but then unfortunate things happened, but. Eh. One thing I like about this track, it's like it's it's in like a it's in like a figure eight, and you can see like everything that LA you can see like everything that LA has. Like you, you could just basically say that this is pretty much LA in a nutshell. I mean, it has beaches and and uh, beaches, palm tree, jungle ways, freeways, cities. Yeah, it, this is this is just LA all in all in one track. Of course, this is the this is the track that's easy to stay in first as long as you stay like within the like within the turning corners. If you can stay within the turning corners to to the left and right, you you pretty much got this one hands down. Like seriously, this is easy. See what I mean? <laughs> Take that, Pete. I just won up your ass in the first race. Electronic meal. So you gotta receive the postcard from the weasels again. Ugh. Again, those weasels are dicks. Poor Pluto. Alaska. Take that. Yeah, this track is pretty much a no, is a no a no brainer. It's quite a pushover, to be honest. This because all you got is all you got to simply do is just take is just take advantage of the shortcuts they give you. You like right right here like this ice road. Just take just take another shortcut there. You're, and bam. You keep you can easily keep your position in like this track. This is why I like this is what I like about Motorway Mania is that the tracks are easy, are easier for you to win on because of the shortcuts they have. Especially when you're trying to do this figure eight, like there are two, like usually like there's a fork in a road, and I usually take that part of the road because it's more shorter. But then I also get the advantage to take the to take this part of the road too because you can easily just turn there. That's it's one of the flaws to this level, but it's a flaw that works to this design and 
because you're supposed to be going straight through this part of the section, but you but you don't but you end up turning this way too. I guess it's causal because of the turning mechanics too, or the controls to it. I guess. Yeah. But anyway, now anyway, I won both of them anyway. So two tracks down, two more to go. Alright, now we're going into Arizona again. Or. Oh no, actually, we're in Nevada now. That's right, Viva Las Vegas, baby! Don't you even think it. Get in my way, you get fucked. Yeah, that's one thing about shortcuts like those. Don't try, don't try to take those unless you have, unless you have the uh, sprinter item. Usually, the boost up items will definitely guarantee you a good shortcut if you if you take that. Wow, that's lucky. I got the I got this two times in a row. Alright, alright. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I swear, I've gotten better since last night. <laughs> oh boy. I can, uh, boy, I can hardly tell you the troubles I had with this last night. Like I said, the AIs are just difficult to catch up. But I'm guessing that the problem is with the track design too, it's because with 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 the uh, Motorway Mania, these these tracks are. I mean, I'm not really blaming the tracks or anything, but I guess it's just like I'm not really good with some of them. Like I'm saying, probably from from traffic troubles, of course. I mean, like these AIs do have more advantages over that one than this one does. I mean, even Las Vegas, they had a more advantageable, advantageable. Uh, they were they're more advantageable here, but I I ended up being triumphant in this one because I was because I had I had some I had real lucky items the invincible the invincibility and the uh, the boost up item. These things work. I mean, especially on those shortcuts. I took that shortcut like three times. I mean. Every time I played through this level, I never got to take that shortcut. But somehow this just made me just want to take those shortcuts, and I actually end up winning. Oh boy. It's the feeling, I mean, that's the one thing about racing games, it's the feeling that you get when you when you win. When you actually catch up and be in first, and then when you win, you get that you get that awesome feeling of accomplishment. Like, like you actually did it. I mean, that's what I love about this game, and even with all Ring Transform, I found so, so... Like... Like with All Stars Racing Transform, I felt so far behind, but I ended up just doing what I normally do: just take shortcuts, let's uh, conserve my items, and then wait for that lucky chance, like an All Star move, I guess. And I end up winning. I mostly end up winning. Like, I mean, like it's it's games like these that like put you at that edge when you're racing. I mean, even with Mario Kart with its luck based 
gameplay, I mean, it can be that somewhat that way too, I mean, not really as it, I mean, I like playing Mario Kart, and I like having fun with it, but it's not as fun as All-Stars Ricky Transform was, because that game, it really made me feel accomplished that I, that I won something, and it's like, and you didn't really have to count, count on any cheap items, or like, have to deal with any cheap items that'll make you lose. I mean, there are, I mean, there are items that do make you lose in All-Stars Racing Transfer, but as long as you know what you're doing and you, and you avoid those, you try to your best to avoid those items, look, like, like, take advantage, look behind you, you pretty much got a handmade. Mario Kart, I say good luck, because the only, the only thing you gotta do is avoid a blue shell, I mean, and that, sometimes that takes a lot of luck, just like with this game, it takes a lot of luck. Like, like, if a blue show, you have to use a mushroom to, to, to speed up, or you just have to apply the brakes, and sometimes that can be, that can be the hardest to do. Or at least just go, come in second, and then let this, and let the per person ahead of you take that, take that chance, but, that sometimes doesn't often work either. So, yeah, with Mario Kart, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> but, it's still kind of fun, but, like, uh, I mean, I'm glad this game doesn't have a blue turtle shell, but then at the same time, I wish it did. Oh, looks like we got another track with the weasel on it. That means there's a car part here. Now, I'm not really going to get all the car parts since I didn't get it in the last race. Especially, I didn't even get it off screen either. So, I'm going to probably do that, like, after I do the other, after I do the third track. I'll probably go back and search for those those part pieces. And then we're going to continue on to the next race. But that's just going to be our during the next few of the last plays. So, let's just continue this race. I'm not going to really get this item. So, here we go. Oh yeah, Philadelphia. One thing I found out too, the one way to also keep your position is to collect these tokens. I guess it's kind of like with Diddy Kong Racing and the Bananas and Crash Team Racing with the uh, with the Wumpa Fruits. If you collect at least enough of these, you'll get to go faster. Like with Crash Bandicoot, it's like with 10 Wumpa Fruits, but with Diddy Kong Racing, I believe it's like 20 bananas. This one is just like with 20 race tokens. Yeah, but you people see what I mean, right? I mean, me, for this for track, it's also easy for me to keep my position too. But again, it, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of strategy, especially with this one. You could easily win. you Mickey Mouse. <laughs> ah well, you win some, you lose some, you know. I mean, ugh. I would have gotten close to getting a platinum in this one too, but, you know, like I say, you can't really win them all. Ugh. At least I, at least I managed to make first in this one, so. What goes on here? You're doing great. Keep this up and you'll catch the, those crafty weasels in no time. Now try the other race series. Looks like we're going to see another unskippable victory scene. 
and Mickey's a dick to Pete. But then again, that asshole deserved it. He won up to be in the last race, so he deserves to be in third. Hope you're riding. Hope you're riding hell, you, you piece of. And that was Motorway Mania. Thank you all again for watching. Next time I'll be doing uh, Freeway Phobia. <laughs> Funny thing about this one, they have the, this is this is actually this is actually the exact same name as the uh, as this 15 minute uh, cartoon lecture on the freeways that Disney did before with uh, with Goofy. Oh man, it's a it, it's a really very educational and informal. Uh, it's a really entertaining and informal uh, informal uh, cartoon. I recommend you guys check it out. It's called Freeway Phobia. Anyway, um, this is what I'm going to do next time. So until then, um, this is Gamerman, and I will see you next game.